Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. The second rule of Fight Club is you do not talk about Fight Club. Last summer's Barbenheimer phenomenon hit theaters and the entire industry like a ton of bricks. Who knew that if you made a good movie, people would go out to the movies? Even I started doing more double features like Sound of Turtles, which was Sound of Freedom followed by Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. I know, ridiculous combination, right? But Barbie helped to put writer and director Greta Gerwig on the map. We all know about and have our gripes with this movie. And now the rumor mill is churning and we've gotten news that Gerwig is writing and directing a new movie, a Fight Club remake with an all-female cast. But is this a good idea? And is it financially viable or will it flop harder than the Marvels? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the raging dumpster fire that is modern Hollywood. Before we dive in, take a moment to like and subscribe. If just a fraction of the 95% of you who watch but haven't subscribed yet, hit that button, it would make a huge difference in helping the channel grow. And the best part, subscribing is completely free. So hit that sub button. The 2023 Barbie movie became a massive success due to nostalgia baiting, humor, and appealing to longtime fans of the toy and new audiences alike. The movie reimagined Barbie as a symbol of empowerment, which challenged the traditional gender roles the toys were known for espousing individuality and diversity. However, as many of us in the YouTube community have already mentioned, the film's progressive themes, particularly its focus on feminism and diversity, were overly preachy and politically driven, which ended up overshadowing the entertainment value. After all, what have I been ranting about since starting my channel? When agenda trumps plot and character development, the film ultimately suffers. But the movie helped to catapult Greta Gerwig into the big time. She gained prominence for her roles in films like Frances Ha and Lady Bird, the latter of which marked her solo directorial debut and earned her Academy Award nominations for Best Director and Best Original Screenplay. Gerwig is celebrated for her sharp, character-driven storytelling, which for the most part was quite good. I especially liked Lady Bird, for example. The film wasn't overly preachy, and it didn't focus on progressive agendas. It just told the story about teenage angst with a modern perspective. Gerwig is for sure talented, but when I hear about her wanting to remake a beloved classic such as Fight Club with an all-female cast, I have to question her judgment and her understanding of Fight Club. It's no secret that the dark age of cinema may finally be over in Hollywood. Many studios are realizing that going woke definitely means going broke. I do know people who work at Marvel, they have cleaned house. They um, quietly, months ago, fired all the producers that would could be labeled activist. Unlike, really? Yes. Unlike Lucasfilm, that is Lucasfilm is lost. As Chris Gore reported, Marvel Studios has quietly purged all the woke activists within its ranks that pretty much destroyed the MCU in Phase 4. As many YouTubers such as myself, Critical Drinker, and Nerd Roddick have pointed out, if you make a movie that focuses on good plot with excellent character development, then people spend money to go to theaters. It's really that simple. But I guess some people, like Greta Gerwig, didn't get the message. So I have to question why Gerwig would go through with something like this. It makes me question her judgment and even her understanding of what Fight Club was all about. Fight Club, directed by David Fincher and based on the novel by Chuck Palahniuk, is a 1999 film that explores themes of masculinity, identity, and societal disillusionment. Gee, does this sound familiar in 2024? The story follows an unnamed narrator who, feeling emasculated and trapped in a consumerist society, forms an underground fight club with the enigmatic Tyler Durden. The film critiques the alienation of men in modern society, portraying how traditional male roles are undermined by materialism and a lack of purpose, and I'm sorry to say, 
They're also undermined by toxic feminism as well. The movie suggests that the search for identity and meaning can lead to destructive behavior when societal norms fail to provide fulfillment. Throughout the first quarter of the 21st century, we've seen the rise of incels and loners with a very warped view of the world due to the rise of progressive ideology and extreme feminism. Fight Club is often interpreted as a commentary on the crisis of masculinity, questioning the role of men in a world dominated by consumer culture and the pressures to conform. So how in the hell could these themes be espoused with women? Throughout the 20th and early 21st century, women have made tremendous progress in terms of civil liberties and economic equality. Women have achieved equity and equality with men and in some cases have superseded men. For example, over the last decade, the demographics have shifted so dramatically that there are now more women in medical schools than men. And if this trend continues, the entire field will be dominated by women in a few generations. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of female scrubs. There's no sexier thing than a chick in a white coat. But no environment where one group dominates another is bound to last. In mathematics, there's a very famous example of a fox and rabbit problem that is modeled using differential equations. If there's too many rabbits, that causes an increase in the number of foxes as they have more food to eat. Then if there's too many foxes, they run out of food and they themselves starve to death. So you need to have equilibrium. And that's my point. We're now seeing the opposite end of things. There is no crisis of femininity. On the contrary, women have not only achieved parity, but they have now taken over in some cases. So how in the hell are you going to make a female version of Fight Club? Let's do a little thought experiment to see how Greta Gerwig would fare with this idea. An all-female version of Fight Club could reimagine the story to explore issues specifically related to women's experiences in society while maintaining the core themes of identity, rebellion, and the search for meaning. Here's how it could work. The female version could delve into the pressures women face to conform to societal standards, including beauty, career, family roles, and the often conflicting demands of being successful, nurturing, and independent. But see, here's the thing. That conversation has already occurred. We've already resolved it when women achieved equity with men. Perhaps if the film explored the darker side of feminism, it may work better. There's now many disillusioned women. They realize that feminism lied to them, forcing them to choose career over family and love. And now they're all alone at home with their cats, as J.D. Vance has so infamously said. On the flip side, however, the so-called fight club, or maybe book club, could serve as both a place of empowerment, where women reject societal norms and find strength in themselves and each other, and a site of self-destruction, where the characters grapple with their inner conflicts and the consequences of their rebellion. The narrative could critically explore different waves of feminism, the commercialization of feminist ideals, and the tensions between women who navigate various roles in society. From the corporate world to domestic life, We've already seen that with the trad wife movement, and that would make a more interesting take. Very few people know that modern feminism is actually a capitalist invention. The Rockefeller family has been intimately involved with the feminist movement throughout the 20th century. They promoted women's liberation to increase the workforce and tax base. Of course, it's basic economics and supply and demand. If you increase the number of workers, you can pay them less because it devalues their work, because there's more of them. The Rockefellers figured this out a century ago and put it into practice, which over the last few decades has led to the destruction of the nuclear family. And many women are waking up to this cold hard fact that feminism lied to them in order to generate profits for fat greedy oligarchs. Perhaps if Greta Gerwig made a movie exploring that, it would be thought-provoking enough and make a big impact. But what are the chances of that being the case in modern Hollywood? What do you guys think about all this? Do you think an all-female version of Fight Club would be any good? Or would it flop super hard? Please do let me know down below in the comments, and as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one!
Okie dokie.